Hi everyone, today I show you my new app, a solo RPG Oracle Basic. This app is a, an app that you can use to help yourself uh, to play role playing games uh, when you play by yourself as a solo, or if you play as a, a group without a, a master and without a narrator, or even if you have a, a dungeon master, narrator, master, depends on the type of game you're playing. This can help you to have an inspirational for quest or situation that you're going to create for your players. This one uh, is not, uh, this app is not related to any particular um, game system. You can use for Dungeons and Dragons, Pathfinder, or whatever. It's just uh, the setting is a fantasy setting, so anything that is setting you can adapt for this game. But let's see, start the way it how it works. So basically, we ask some questions to this oracle, and the oracle will answer in some way. It could be like yes or no, or a different type of expression. But let's start with something simple. We can ask uh, uh, something where the answer can be yes or no, clicking on the scale here. So you can have yes, or yes or no as an answer. But this action, uh, icon here is to see the reaction of uh, NPC can be either uh, humanoids or monsters, or animals or whatever, and goes from very friendly to aggressive. So I can see in this case friendly, neutral, hostile, aggressive, hostile again, neutral, and we find very friendly. So I have five different type of reaction that can help you to understand what's happening when you try to negotiate with someone or to try to calm down some monster and so on. Finally, we have the more interesting uh, icon, that is the one. This one is the one related for the quest or any type of situation. For for example, you can ask, uh, what's the book about? The, you know, if you found the book and you want to know what's the book about, you can just click and see, okay, it's a book about siege weapons, for example, because you can see a trebuchet or maybe how to build a trebuchet. So just in, in base of your imagination, you can interpret this image as you want. And if you want, for example, to ask, what's the mission? What's the quest? Is anyone uh, uh, putting any notice because they need any help in the, uh, in the, at the inn? So you can have uh, some uh, inspiration from here. Usually I like to, uh, for the quest, click three times and then mix together these images to get an idea. So let's see what we get here. We have uh, this bag, maybe full of coins, who knows? And then we have uh, this archer. And then there is uh, this creature that could be like wolf in the best case, but you know, anything depends on the game you're setting, you, you're creating. It could be like a shadow wolf or something like that, or a hellhound or something like that. You know, it depends on the set you create, you playing, you might adapt your imagination. So let's say that uh, with these three information, uh, you can interpret that there is a, a reward for anyone that is able to hunt down and kill this creature, uh, because this creature is maybe is uh, threatening the village every night, for example. Or maybe we can say that uh, hunter went to try to kill this creature and the hunter was killed, but you need to recover a bag because this hunter found something more very important or maybe have some special equipment inside this bag that was uh, uh, necessary for complete a quest after killing this creature or maybe you need to make a, a special ritual or something. So this, you get inspiration from this image. It's up to you how you can interpret. You try to adapt to your story. After you have got this uh, information here, you can just click on the notes on the scroll and you can tap down, say, uh, mission or quest, quest, add down the shadow wolf and uh, retrieve bag of the hunter, for example. Then you can click on the feather here, you can just save the text and then if you, for any reason, you 
delete the text or you close the app and you open then the day after you can click on this letter and you load the text so uh, during your spare time you can roll some of this <laughs> virtual uh, die so take these virtual cards and create your story write some notes and then for example uh, if you're on like, your lunch break you can use this app and when you go home you can play you click in here you have information about the app and about my website and my company and if you click again on the scroll we close this section and we go back here another thing that i add on the app are virtual dice so you can have d4 d6 d8 d10 you can see the result the type of dice here and then the result on the right d12 d20 d percentage and then you can erase the roll with this one another interesting feature about this app is the the way you roll the dice you can actually write some text so for example if you create a character like a dungeons and dragons let's say first edition roll three dice straight and you get the value for your strength that is 14 and then you can have dexterity so you can write directly notes about your roles here so or if you can if you get injured you can write down how many hit points you lost and so on the only thing to keep in mind that whatever you write here it will be lost if you close the app or if you cl click on this icon so you can still uh, when you write some notes just copy the notes go back on this section here with the scroll add it here and then you save so you will have all, now all the test text that you need during uh, your next game so that's it for now i hope this game uh, this this app actually will help you to uh, boost up your game especially if you play by yourself you know i know uh, i really love uh, role playing games uh, but it's not always easy to find a group or time to play with someone because you know different time different locations so sometimes you feel like to play this app is very useful once again if you want to play by yourself this is very useful but if you want to play as a group without dungeon master you can still get an idea about what's happening in the story in the game you can help uh, in each other and create a narration for your quest and if you have a dungeon master you want to have uh, some idea about uh, what's happening to the next uh, mission with your player you don't know what type of quest you can add or you want to improvise some reaction this is very good to uh, to boost up your imagination i hope uh, this uh, will be useful for you uh, this app uh, by the time you see this video should be already available on google store i will put the link uh, in the description of this video if you have any suggestion or feedback uh, please let me know at uh, the moment the app is in uh, alpha state so i'm still going to do some adjustment in case um, you want to um, you know give me your feedback in the comment here and this app is free the only thing that will bother you at the beginning of the app is uh, just one advertising so you click on the at the beginning of the app to see the advertising after that you will not have any more anything that bother you every the app is uh, free to use uh, anytime you want uh, all the time so just click the act once to support me and also a new version of this app uh, more advanced with more options will be available as a premium in that case you will have uh, to pay for the app uh, a small amount i still have to decide because i haven't done the app yet but you don't have uh, any advertising and it's uh, you know free to use or until uh, <laughs> until you have the app on your phone so uh that's it uh, i hope uh, you enjoy this uh, little video and if you have uh, any comment again please let me know thank you bye